Today we are looking at physics. We are focusing on tension. This is lesson 102. Let us start. Our question for today, we have this type of a scenario. Looking at the statement, it's saying a block of mass 1 kg is connected to another block of mass 4 kg by a light inextensible string. The system is pulled up a rough plane at 80 degrees to the horizontal by means of a constant force, a constant 40 newtons force parallel to the plane as shown in the diagram below. So we actually have two, two objects which are connected by a string and then there's a force applied to one of the objects. The magnitude of the kinetic frictional force between the surface and the 4 kg block is 10 newtons. So we actually have Fk for this one which is 10 newtons. The coefficient of the kinetic friction between the 1 kg block and the surface is 0, 29. So the coefficient of this is 0, 0,29. The first question, draw a labeled free body diagram showing all the forces acting on the 1 kg block. So what I'm going to do, we are going to draw for both of these blocks and then we continue. We are, go we are just going to stretch the question. But remember, the question is requiring for the free body diagram of 1 kg block. And then you can see the mark allocation is 5 marks. So it means we are going to have 5 forces. So it's very simple for you to identify how many forces are acting on the block when looking at this particular question of drawing a free body diagram. So looking at our diagram, we can see we have applied force and then normal force will be this direction and then we have weight, we have kinetic friction and then we have tension. So our free body diagram will be this nature. So this is the actual free body diagram of the 1 kg block. Now let us quickly look at the 4 kg block. How many forces are acting on this? We have weight, we have normal force, we have kinetic friction and then we have tension. So this is the actual free body diagram for the 4 kg block. Now let us go to the next question. Our next question is saying calculate the magnitude of the the kinetic frictional force between the 1 kg block and the surface. So we are looking for the kinetic frictional force of this block, this one. For this block we are only given the coefficient and then we have the mass, we can actually calculate the kinetic friction. There is a lesson video whereby we look at different types of scenarios and how to calculate the normal force and the kinetic friction. The equation to calculate kinetic friction is defined by this equation where this is the coefficient, this is the normal force. Now in this case of an incline, our normal force is equals to mg cos theta. Theta is this angle. That is why I'm saying it is advisable or it is important for you to look at the lesson video whereby we look at different types of scenarios and how to calculate the normal force and the kinetic friction. Now where we see n we can substitute by this so our equation is actually like this. So we have the kinetic friction, we have the mass, we have the gravity, we also have the angle. So we can go ahead and substitute and 
find our kinetic friction. So coefficient is 0 0.29, mass it's 1, 9.8, and then we have cos 30 degrees. So our kinetic friction is 2,46 newtons. Let us go to the next question. So we are done with this one. We are done with this one. Now we go to this one. Before we go there, let us look at how are we going to allocate marks for this. So this will simply be one mark for any force actually for each force and then for the calculation the mark allocation will be here the substitution and the answer so our next question is saying we need to calculate the magnitude of the tension in the string connecting the two block so we are going to calculate the tension between the two blocks and then you can see the mark allocation is six marks so this simply tells us that our calculation will be a bit long but there's nothing difficult for one kg block we need to understand some certain things we know that the system is moving up this direction so we consider this direction as our positive and then it means all the forces facing on the opposite side or opposite direction will be negative now we need to understand something when it comes to calculation remember we start with f net is equals to ma But we need to understand something. How do we identify? How do we how do we identify the forces which are actually doing work to the object or which will be included when calculating the equation in the equation? Now you need to listen carefully. We look at all the forces which are parallel to the displacement. Remember our displacement is this direction. And then looking at the forces which are parallel to the displacement we can see that our first force is the force applied so force applied will be part of the equation and then we have tension which is also parallel to the equation i mean the displacement of the system and then we have kinetic friction which is also parallel to the system or the displacement of the system now looking at normal force normal force is actually perpendicular so this equation is out we are not going to include it when we are calculating let us look at weight this is weight we know that weight has components we have weight y and weight x or we can say weight perpendicular weight parallel now looking at these two components actually when we look at weight we can see that it's not parallel to the displacement so weight is out we need to consider its components looking at weight perpendicular fg perpendicular we can see that it's actually perpendicular to the displacement so it's out now we need, we need to look at the other component we can see that this one is actually parallel to the displacement so we are going to consider also this component in the equation when we are calculating so it's f net is equals to ma our first force is force applied which is on the positive direction plus 
you can see that tension kinetic friction and fg parallel is actually in the opposite direction so we have negative tension plus negative fk plus negative fg parallel is the same as wx parallel it's equals to ma from here we need the values which are given from the question paper so that we can substitute so from here we can substitute our force applied is 14 newtons minus tension minus our fk we just calculated it from the previous question it's 2,46 uh, minus remember fg parallel it's fg parallel it's equals to fg sine theta and then we know that fg it's mg sine theta so our mass is 1 9.8 sine 30 degrees so where we see fg parallel we can quickly put this 9.8 sine 30 degrees it equals to 1 e so we need to make t the subject of the formula or we can leave it like this since a is the subject of the formula 1 multiplied by a is a we actually need to simplify and then from here we can put negative t and then we simplify these terms this this and this so the sum of this will give us plus 32.64 so this is equation one now we are done with the first equation generated from the 1 kg block we need to move to the 4 kg block for the 4 kg block we have this forces same goes to this block we cannot consider this and this but for this we are going to consider its component which is f g x so our equation we are going to have F net is equals to MA and then all the forces go in this direction will be positive so we have tension plus negative FK plus negative FG parallel is equals to MA From the scenario, we know that Fk is equal to 10 newtons. And then Fg is equal to, I mean, Fg parallel is equal to mg sine theta. So we are going to have 4, 9.8 sine 30 degrees. So we have T minus 10 minus 4 9.8 sine 30 degrees it's equals to 4 a making a the subject of the formula we are going to divide but before we divide let us quickly perform mathematical operation to simplify this so negative 10 minus 4 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by sine 30 we have negative 29.6 is equals to 4a dividing both sides by 4 this will get rid of this so we have a is equals to negative 29.6 divided by 4 it's negative 
plus t over 4. So this is equation number 2. So from here we can equate the two equations to find our answer. So from here we can equate the two equations to find our answer. Since A is the subject of the formula for both of these equations, we can equate the two equations. So we have negative 7.4 plus t over 4. It's equals to negative t plus 32.64. Then from here we can solve for t. We take this one to this side, we take this one to the other side. So we have t over 4 plus t, it's equals to positive 7,4 plus 32.64. Now we know that this t over 4, it's actually 1 over 4. So it's 1 over 4 plus 1. 1 over 4 plus 1 is 5 over 4. T is equal to 7,4 plus 32.64. We have 40.04. Now, 5 over 4 is the same as 1.25. T is equal to 40.04. So we divide by 1.25 both sides. This will get rid of this. We have t is equals to 2. This is the actual answer. We are done with this question. Let us go back to the question paper. Oh, so this is the last question. So the tension connecting the two blocks is actually 32.032. But remember, if we are going to round off to two decimal places, we are going to have 3 point, I mean 32.03 newtons. There is lesson 103 and 101 of this chapter. Just make sure you watch it for further understanding. This is Wahula SJ. Thank you very much.